Marjorie Tiger, morning to both of you. Two suspects were taken into custody, including a juvenile in this case. We are at Belt and Enright, just north of Del Mar. That officer involved shooting taking place just behind us here. Police say the suspect, one of them, tried to use the columns on that building to hide from police. Take a look at video from the scene here earlier overnight. Police had several evidence markers down on Enright here. St. Louis Lieutenant Colonel, St. Louis Police Lieutenant Colonel Michael Sack telling us this all unfolded a little after one o'clock this morning. Police were called to a nearby apartment complex for a report of trespassers in the building. When they got there, they found three people who had actually already left the complex. Sack says one of them, an adult man, was armed with an AR style handgun. Sack tells us the three tried to run off and police started chasing them on foot. One of the suspects was able to get away. Sack says the man with the gun hid behind one of those support columns we just showed you and flourished his gun at police. Sack tells us the officer told the man to drop his weapon and when he did not, the officer started shooting. The suspect was not hit, but Sack says the man did drop his gun at that point. We're told his officers moved in to arrest the man he resisted. A struggle started, but the man was eventually arrested. Here is some of what Sack told us earlier. He was standing behind one of the concrete columns, which is providing him uh, cover and some concealment. And he was flourishing the officer with his uh, pistol, with a, a rifle caliber pistol, uh, which is a very serious matter. You know, it could, you know, seriously injure or kill an officer. A juvenile female who was with that man was also taken into custody by officers. Police think the three may have been trying to commit some sort of burglary at that apartment complex. The force investigative unit is now looking at this case since an officer did fire a gun. For now, live in the West End, Chris Renier, Fox News.